Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. This is our first 2023 Subaru Forester. So 22 got the facelift, the redesign. 23, no notable changes. But you get that revised front end, the different cutout headlights, the slightly more aggressive bumper, and you get these fog light bezels that have the gray, the gun metallic. And that's on all of them regardless of the color especially in the limited. Now, these soon to be owners requested a set of second of winter tires and wheels, so we put the winter tire package on. You've got Subaru brand steel wheels, you got Blizzax. They did also request paint protection film, so the entire front of the car is coated and they did the full hood. Now, the limited, you get your integrated turn signals in the mirrors. I really like the magnetite gray. It doesn't get enough love in my opinion. Now, at the back here, rear bumper. We do have backup sensors in the rear bumper. Those will actually apply the brakes if you think you're gonna hit something in reverse between speeds of one and 15 kilometers an hour. Best thing ever for parking lots. Now, this hatch is a power hatch. Right between these two stars underneath, there's a little rubber switch. You can press it. You can do it from the key fob or the driver's seat. Of course, we have the all-season tires in here. So, you get your factory Subaru alloy wheels and the standard all-season tires. Cargo trays are standard equipment. We've got grocery bag hooks on both sides. 12 volt outlet for any charging needs. And then to fold these seats flat, you've got these little levers. You can do it from beside the headrest, but you've got the ability to do it without having to reach in or walk up to the second row. We do have a Harman Kardon audio system in this. So that is the sub, the small sub. We've got four hard physical tie downs in the Forester, two at the back, to at the front, that's very hard to see. I know it is there, you're gonna have to trust me on that. There is a little LED cargo light there, obviously not gonna make a big difference right now with the light of level of light out. Then this was new for 22 as well. You've got two hooks. Now they call them grocery bag hooks, but I wouldn't hang grocery bags there. I'd probably use that more if I was out camping and I needed to hang something. You only get a max weight of three kilograms or six pounds, which I'd go with the six pounds over the three kilograms because three kilograms is a little bit more and they don't seem overly sturdy. We have the ability to manually close the hatch through the handle, just pulling, and then it'll power assist. We've got the ability to close and then you have the ability to lock and close. So this is very handy if you don't want to pull your keys back out of your pocket or walk back up front and click lock. So if I do that, I press it. And the way you can tell it's locked, it's going to give you a little audible and a flash of the lights. There you go. Now it's locked, so if I walk up to second row, so I gotta click unlock on the key fob. Subaru logo is the unlock button on these. Once does driver, twice does everything. Now, normally I would show you the amount of room that's in the second row, which is an absolutely incredible amount. LED light there, but I can't, because it's folded down and we've got a set of tires. Now. We do have outboard heated seats high and low for both the rear passengers. We've got two USB ports for charging. They are the USB-Cs, traditional USB ports, vents out of the center console. And on the backs of both seats, you've got the pockets and you've got three divided pockets. So mat back, device storage, that sort of thing. You can see right here, the sunroof does extend into the second row. So even passengers get to appreciate the large sunroof. And if I move up here, you can see it. It is quite sizable. Now, there is a fold down armrest in there with cup holders, but you also get bottle holders in both doors. You get that little strip of gray to break up the black interior. Child locks if you need them. Now, with it being a proximity key, the key never needs to come out of your purse or your pocket, just needs to be within 46 inches of the front driver, passenger handle, or the rear. Now, to lock it, I've got those lines. And then I'll wait a second. And it unlocks just by putting my hand in. You don't want to grab the handle and touch the lines at the same time. It confuses the car because you're giving it multiple commands at the same time. Now, when I lock or unlock it, you can see that it also gives you the illumination on those, the hazards go. Up front, power windows, locks and mirrors along with two position memory settings. So if you have two at regular drivers or drivers of different heights, you can set two positions for both your power mirrors and your power driver's seat, which is very, very handy. And of course, being power, you do get power lumbar support. And the Limited is the first trim level where you get the leather upholstered interior. Now these headrests are tiltable. 
You can adjust them however you would like, up to a certain point, and it springs back. Forester seating position, very, very tall. Lots of people like that. Foot on the brake. So I'm just gonna turn this around. You can see I'm sitting very tall. I'm a taller guy, but uh, I'm pretty tall. So this, the seat goes up high. It even goes even higher. So all the way up and I would have to sit like this, but it also goes down. So it fits taller and shorter drivers. I find lots of people around that five foot mark really like the Forester because of the visibility it offers because of the seating position. Now on the steering wheel, this is tilt and telescopic. So you can adjust it for drivers of varying heights, arm lengths, all of that. Left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have our Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make it take calls, control the volume of calls and the music, switch from AM to FM to CD to satellite. We've got our preset switcher, or go to the next song of the CD. Volume, make and accept calls, hang up or decline calls. These arrows right here, as you toggle through them, it gives you different information on the multifunction display. Most people prefer the digital speedometer. Right-hand side, the all-important heated steering wheel, best thing ever in the winter, right up there with heated seats. Once you have this, you never want to go without it. We've got our adaptive cruise and our lane centering. Now, that's all part of the EyeSight safety system, which is these two cameras. So those are two color stereo EyeSight cameras. They're looking for vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists. It does automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise, lane centering, pre-collision throttle management, it does a lot of stuff. This is the most up-to-date EyeSight 4.0, so the most modern Subaru system. So when you're in cruise, you get an image of the Forester, and you can see that there's three bars ahead of the Forester there. Now there's four. That's the follow distance behind the vehicle ahead of you that you'll follow at if you catch up while using cruise. Most people in the north use four bars, and I've just turned off and back on the lane centering. So again, if the two cameras can see the road lines, it'll illuminate those gray lines white on whichever side it can see, whether that's one or both. And it'll actually give you gentle steering input to keep you in the middle of your lane. Great for the second half of a day of driving. Now, I always get calls from my clients and they're wondering, what is this orange light? So that orange light is saying, hey, it's at a temperature where it could be slick out. And I mean, if you, it's winter so obviously but you can't see the temperature change so that's a nice indicator and it comes on at positive i think it's four degrees celsius and it's on below that it's negative three right there you can see that and actually speaking of this screen you can cycle through it with the info button on the left hand side of the steering wheel so every time i press the info button it's going to change screens and give us a different piece of information i personally like the gauge screen the most and you can change those widgets around and to do that, you go into the settings one right there. I do have a video about that, about changing those widgets on my channel. So if you guys want to find that, I'll try to put the link in the description there. It's also where our climate control displays. And it ranges from 30 on the high side, being dual zone, all the way down to 15. So freezing and tropical, depending how you and your passengers like it. Easy to sync it back up to just driver controlled. Fan strength displays up there. You can see where your airflow is being directed. You can change that click of a button and I don't know if you noticed it but there's a little red light there you get the driver focus system with the limited there it is so that's trying to scan my face and it'll tell you if you're distracted if you're drowsy all of <laughs> those fun things and it if you keep your eyes off the road it's gonna say hey pay attention now you can deactivate that there are some buttons by the driver's left knee here and if you wanted to turn off the driver focus it's right here these other buttons, that's how you open the rear hatch. The steering responsive headlights, they turn when you turn at speed. So you can see around the corner a little sooner. You can deactivate that if you don't like it. The memory button for the tailgate, you can set it so it doesn't open 100% of the way. So if you have a low parking garage, something like that, that's a nice fix. This does the brightness of the gauges, your scroll wheel. You've got traction control, auto start stop, and blind spot detection. So I get asked about the blind spot detection a lot. So what is it? So I've just turned it off and essentially, it's that little orange light and it illuminates on the corresponding side when someone's in your blind spot on that side or going to be there momentarily. It's a great aid. It does not replace shoulder checking, but it is a nice aid. Now the Forester still has the eight inch touchscreen infotainment system with physical buttons below. The limited is the first trim level that comes with built-in navigation. It's powered by TomTom. Tom. It's free. There's no subscription cost, no monthly fee associated with it. You could have this vehicle for 15 years this will still be the same. It will work. 
when you put it in reverse, backup camera pops up. You can see the sensors are saying, hey, you're getting close to the wall, but you're still good. Parking sensors are on. They start beeping when you get into the yellow. And then rear assist braking, if it thought I was gonna back into the wall faster than one kilometer an hour, less than 15, it would apply the brakes. Now, if for some reason you need to deactivate either of those features, it's just a press and hold, and it goes gray. Turn it back on, same thing. CD player, yes, we still have that. Your physical buttons, below that you've got your climate controls, you've got driver's side temp, passenger side temp, your heated mirrors, back window, and area of the windshield where your wipers sit, right up there. That's just a click, they're all tied together. Mode changes where the air flows from, this dial changes the fan strength and you can see it change up there as I twist it up and down. Down here, ahead of the shifter, we have two USBs, an aux, and a 12 volt outlet. So the USBs do charging, allow you to listen to music, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. The aux obviously does music and the 12 volts for any charging needs. This is rubberized, so it's designed to keep a device there and hopefully stop it from sliding around quite as much. Automatic transmission, now there is a M for manual mode. If you want to select your own gear, we have the paddles up and down. Parking brakes are electronic. Pull up to turn it on. Foot on the brake, push down to turn it off. So you have to have your foot on the brake and push down to turn it off because it's a push down button and a child or a pet could accidentally press it. Auto vehicle hold is a brake holder for construction, drive through, or rush hour traffic in a place that isn't Prince George. Heated seats, high and low for both the driver and passenger. If you leave this switched on, they will come on when you use the remote start through the My Subaru app. And then we get dual function X mode. So this is Subaru's equivalent feature to 4x4 low in a pickup. So twist it to the left and you get snow and dirt mode. And twist it to the right, you get deep snow and mud mode. And it turns off traction control to allow for excess wheel spin. If you exceed 40 kilometers an hour, it kicks off and then you have to slow down below 20 to re-engage it. And then you just turn it off by pressing down on that same dial. Now, my favorite feature in any vehicle, the auto dimming rear view mirror, there's no switch to flick, it just automatically dims. It is the best thing ever. We do also have the home link system there. So you can hook up to three separate garage doors to your mirror so you don't have to have a bulky opener on either of your visors. Now, there's also a built-in compass and above that, Got our map lights, which are LEDs. Actually, I'm gonna turn that off because that doesn't help at all. We've got our lane sway. So if you start crossing lines without signaling, the eyesight cameras can see that and it'll beep at you and it'll actually show you which side you're crossing and it'll say, hey, correct yourself. If you put your turn signals on, it cancels that. This is the automatic emergency braking. So this, again, uses the two eyesight cameras and is designed to stop you from hitting pedestrians and vehicles. And here in BC, it actually saves you 10% on your basic insurance. Above that, we've got our SOS and our roadside slash concierge service. That's part of the My Subaru app trial, the My Subaru Connected Services trial that you get for the first three years with most new Subarus. Great features. Press SOS if you're experiencing a medical emergency, that you're in an accident and the airbags don't deploy, or if you feel unsafe, call for roadside with the blue one. You can call the roadside number. You get the card in your owner's manuals, but we also put a little sticker right there for it. So you have the phone number easily accessible. Sunglass storage. And now for the sunroof, it is a manual shade, but if you open the glass, it'll drag this with it. But it is giant. It extends into the second row. It, it's awesome. Now this is only a slide sunroof. It does not tilt at the rear. Just keep that in mind if that's important to you. But it is a giant roof and it really, really increases the brightness in the cabin. So that is a quick look at our first 2023 Subaru Forester Limited in the Magnetite Gray. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. If you have any questions about this vehicle or any of the vehicles on our lineup, any of the tech, anything you would like to see in a future video, please put it in the comments below. I'm always looking for new stuff to make for you guys, stuff to talk through, and I will try to answer any questions you have. Again, Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. Talk to you guys soon.